Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Walden with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Nebraska senior Divine Ozigbo, who was at the East West Shrine game this week. And this is a six foot, 235 pound guy, kind of in that build range of guys like Mike Anderson of the Broncos and Mike Turner of the um, Atlanta Falcons, San Diego Chargers of past days. We're going to take a look at some of the things that really set a Zigbo apart as a prospect that make him a viable NFL option down the line. Let's start with footwork. You're going to see this right here. Footwork and patience as he takes this exchange. As he reads this exchange, you can see the helmets of the defenders kind of working inside their gaps and getting a push. Now he sees that push, but instead of trying to get away from it immediately, watch what he does. He cuts his stride a little bit, still leaning forward, and when he gets within a step, see that foot? See the turn of that toe pointed to the outside? He's opened up those hips, and he's done it close to the line of scrimmage, so he's showed patience to be able to work downhill, press this crease, get the outside defender to overrun a little bit so that he can work just around his blockers, get downhill quickly, lower his pads into this safety, pull through the outside linebacker here or the safety there, and get extra yardage. Let's watch it one more time. You'll see what I mean. As you can see this defender, he's flowing to the outside with the fake, and then you're going to see him turn and try and break back inside. Part of that's with the fake, but also you got to remember that if Ozigbo tried to work outside right now and did it earlier when he saw this penetration this gives the defender more time to react back to the inside but the defender gets to take two steps to the outside and you have a Zigbo get close enough to the line and press that so that he can cut around it and of course good pad level and strength there to push and extend the other thing that stands out to me is NFL caliber acceleration you're going to see him in the split backfield from pistol and he's going to work downhill. And then when he sees the penetration here, watch him cut back and bounce his play to the outside here around his lead back as a blocker. And here's the cornerback playing outside, you know, outside here off the line of scrimmage. Watch Ozigba get around the corner and beat this cornerback to the edge. And this is a short corner, so there's not a lot of space here or time compared to actually if he was working to the right with a bounce out it's a limited amount of space for him to be able to get outside that defensive back and the fact that he's able to accelerate fast enough to beat that angle is a nice display of burst you can see he kind of dips inside sets up the defender to try and shoot his shot early so a little bit of that is a little trickery right here to kind of st stutter his step Take a slower step and drag that foot. See the pebbles kind of coming up here from the turf. And then he's able to work around. So he fakes out that defender a little bit. A little bit of that isn't all acceleration. Some of it is that little slide step to get the defender to bite on an earlier angle. Savvy play and also good acceleration. The previous two plays, I've seen multiple plays that mimic or how I say not mimic, but also show the type of things that I just displayed for you. Now, let's watch this one here up the middle. And what's nice about this play is watch where as he gets downhill, there's nowhere other to go to avoid the defender. So watch him bury his head into the chest of this nose tackle right there. And with the help of 63, who's already got a little bit of a push, this right guard here. He's able to push that defender backwards and get a first down here. So that's a really nice job right there. See right into the chest there. I've seen this multiple times too. And so what you like is a player who plays to his size. While he can open up his hips and bounce outside, he has the burst to take the short corner. He has the footwork to be able to work outside or cut back. He also has the maturity to realize this is second and three. I can get these yards if I just use my strength and my size and I take the attack 
to a defender who's already covered up a little bit by one of my block. Here's another mature press in the red zone here. You're going to watch him work towards, he's working duo here, two double teams. And there's that open crease, but see how he continues to work towards the middle here to press that and get the defender who's on the outside here to kind of continue to try and collapse inside, collapse one half step more to the inside. And then you see that toe pointed again. See how the hips are opened up this wide? That's a really nice trait for a back of his size, for any back really, but for his size, that's really good. And that gets him to that crease. And the patience, the patience right here, he should really see that this is the open area to go. But he's got to get this linebacker, he's got to get this defender, and really even the safety to be convinced that he's going to head downhill. And he continues to head downhill just another step or two, and that gets the safety to drift. It gets this defender to work inside. The linebacker gets eaten up in the middle because he attacks that middle. And look at the hips open, and it's almost a walk-in at this point. This is one of my favorite plays that I've seen in this game coming up here. Watch the extension for this ball. Takes the hit, still holds on to it. Not a productive play by any stretch of the imagination. But the fact that he can look that bit, ball in over his shoulder, knowing that a defender is coming down the line to hit him, still hang on to it, shows hand strength, concentration, toughness, even though the defender ends up wrapping him rather than hitting him hard in the chest. It's still a decent hit. That shows you what Ozigbo is capable of doing in the passing game. Well done. And part of one of the things that you really want to see with a power runner too is does he have that mobility not only just to open the hips, but can he really use moves in, in succession? And you're going to see this opportunity here where he works to the outside, gets that foot pointed to the outside, and then breaks back to the inside here, drops the weight a little bit, is able to slide past two defenders. So outside, then cut back downhill right here. That's some nifty movement for a big guy. This is NFL caliber movement. Does this make him an elite prospect? No. But it makes him a guy who's capable of producing in the NFL based on his ability to read the defense, to do the process outside, then read what's going on immediately downhill here and show enough. He's nimble. He's nimble enough to be able to take advantage of this. And I anticipate that he'll be quick enough to do this in a given NFL situation that's similar to this. So you're looking at a back here who can be a productive contributor in an offense. And by no means is this a fluke. You can see this in a previous game of him as a junior here. Kind of taking a delay here and watch a little cut back outside, then back to the inside. Make a defender miss by being able to bend his hips and kind of get that ankle flexion you're looking for. First down on a third and 20 late in the game. I mean, they're ahead, obviously, here, but the fact that Illinois couldn't stop them here on a third and 20, you know, some of that's terrific blocking. Some of it's given enough space to be able to make some really nice moves here. I mean, this is good work weaving through that defense. So, yeah, Devino Zigbo, intriguing player, 235 pounds, good quickness, can catch the football with his hands, shows concentration, obviously shows good skill as a as a back who can change direction, he can run some gap plays for you because he has enough acceleration to be able to hit it downfield. But also I think he can be a big zone back, especially inside zone. But he runs some outside zone pretty well too. But he's patient. He can find that cut back. He has some burst through his cuts. He can obviously run through reaches and wraps. Good player. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, at my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com